Hey everybody, yeah, I'm back um, from the 4th of July vacation. Um, yeah, I've been watching Chantal. I'm not interested in covering her uh, right now until her content is not so morbid and arrogant and just horrific. You know, maybe I'll go back and cover her. But for now, I'd like to cover this Miriam, uh, the real one, I should say. Um, because she's a little bit more interesting. She's a little bit more intelligent. She has a dry sense of humor um, from what I've been watching. Um, and she's about to go on her Egypt journey to uh, be with her husband and whatnot. So she's at the beginning of her journey. But she's been married to him for a year, I think I remember her saying. Um, so she hasn't gone to Egypt yet. So let's try to get into this and I think this will be um, maybe better happier content versus uh, foodie beauty so let's go and I skipped ahead about eight minutes because there's a lot of eating sounds um, I don't know if she um, kind of caters to the feeder community because she does do a lot of moaning slurping that type of thing I don't know I don't know that much about her yet um, as well as she has a neurological disorder. So if you see her hands shaking, that is why um, she's shaking like that. So let's go. College. <clears throat> of course, you don't give cooked chicken bones to a dog, but the college is okay. For this size dog, anyway. She's very good, yell. Mmm. Let's try a wing. Beautiful. Dripper, dripper. Mm. Probably you think this might be a bit weird for breakfast, but I'm actually bulking. Bulking is a thing. If you're around um, athletes or bodybuilders, there's like clean bulking and there's dirty bulking. What she's doing right now is dirty bulking where you eat, um, you eat a large amount of protein. Um, and it's, it's in order to, when you work out, you gain muscle mass versus fat. Um, it does work for some people. Um from what I understand, she's six foot one. So she is like a bigger woman. Um, she doesn't look like she is really obese to me. She might be just maybe like a little bit bigger, but she doesn't look, um, obese when I've seen her stand up and stuff. She's like, she's just bigger. She's just genetically a bigger person. Which is what I do right before I, um, mm. I mean, at least she knows how to strip a chicken bone. Mm. Right before I cut it in the gym, I bulk. So I eat like fatty, heavy food. And then like a few days after that, I'll just be like hammering it in the gym. I mean, that will work for some people. I mean, it just depends on like your metabolism and genetics. For me personally, I found that, and this, this doesn't work for everyone. Yeah, for me exactly. personally, I found that that's best for building muscle. Um, so I don't try to lose weight in the gym. I try to build muscle because yeah. muscle just naturally burns fat. I remember back in the day um, when my husband and I were in our early 20s, he was a bodybuilder. And he used to do this, but he used to do the clean bulking. Not, he didn't eat the junk food like this. Um, and I swear he used to eat like eight times a day, just like high protein like stuff. And, um, plus the shakes, the protein shakes. And a lot of the times he would have to, like, you have to literally force yourself to eat, even though you're not hungry in order to, when you work out, you gain muscle mass versus fat. I mean, it does work. Um, so like when you see a lot of these bodybuilders that are uh, that are huge like that, that's what they do. Not all of them 
um, use steroids to get to that size. Um, it's like genetically, some people are gifted in that way where they're able to eat like this and then just gain muscle mass. Um, and you know, every person's genetics are different when it comes to muscle mass. That's so I have poor muscle mass because thing. of, you know, minor disability, but I also have really good muscle mass because of genetics. So when I hit the gym, I'll just start building muscle pretty much immediately. Yeah, that makes sense. Some people are built like that. Um, particularly if I've eaten a lot of high protein foods. Yep. Oh, wow. That sun's like right in my eye. Mmm. Mmm. This video is sped up as well, so if it seems fast, it's because I sped it up. She cleans a chicken bone. It's behind a cloud, but it's like reflecting. Damn. It's bright. I hope it's okay. Anyway, what was I saying? So yeah, this is the day before I'm going to hit the gym. Like I've just been doing really basic small workouts just to kind of get moving. That's good. I mean, she doesn't look obese to me. I've seen her. But I'll have a couple more. I, like I I've seen videos where you see like her full body. She is bigger, um, but to me, she doesn't look obese. She's like almost like because because she's six foot one, she's pear shaped where she's more um, weighty like on her hips and thighs but to me she, i mean she really doesn't look like list versus chantal which looks like like a literally like um a death star let's just say round like that she has a little bit more shape to her because she's tall and pear shaped so she like i could see her bulking up and getting the muscle mass that she wants to in the gym by doing this she chantal knows. not so much and then tomorrow i'll cut it in the gym And I like the way that she explains everything. Right, and she's not a B-I-T-C-H like Foodie Beauty. In, and speaking um, of that, I, I, I've i been watching like these past f a few videos of Foodie Beauty. And especially the live that she, the past two lives that she did. The one that she came back from uh, the hospital where they finally put her on insulin. Um, she couldn't believe the, 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 the medical treatment that she got. She didn't think it would be like that. What do you think? The, the Middle East has some of the best doctors and hospitals in the world, Chantal. Where do you, like, what are you thinking? Once again, you stereotype because you're racist. Um, and number two, you were a B-I-T-C-H in that yelling at people because they were questioning you and your health. And then again, you did it today, going after FFG and I don't even, I can't even remember. I didn't even watch the whole thing. Just being a B-I-T-C-H and going after people. That's why people are getting sick and tired of you, Chantal. And we have moved on to this Australian beauty, Miriam, because she has a better personality. And at least she explains what she's doing and she's not offensive towards anybody like you. Segments. Stopping and starting. It's more aerobic that way. Get out from under the table, naughty girl. What She's the probably heck? licking the crumbs. Oh my god. That's what my dogs do. <laughs> Especially when the baby's around. And, um, when my grandson's around, because he's only two. You know, the toddlers, they drop everything. It's so good to have a dog in the house because the dogs, like, eat all the crumbs. Yeah, doing the stop start method. <clears throat> cycle 10 kilometers tomorrow. Um, the day after, I will have to rest my leg. I won't be able to do any cycling the day after. Um, but the day after that, I'll do another 10. And on my day off, I'll do weights, which is pretty negligible, but just get some blood pumping a bit. Mm. Oh man, she's tearing that up. I, like, I don't know if these are, like, this type of, is for the feeders. I have no idea. I haven't dove that far into her to see if this is feeder content. I'm suspect, though. Or I'm suspicious, but I yeah. should say. 
Um, I'll also be doing squats and like a modified version of lunges. Oh man, she deep throated that chicken leg. Whoa. I'm sorry about the eating noises. I tried to cut like in the video, like speed it up to avoid this, but it's like impossible. It's impossible to, I mean, I mean, I probably could do it, but at the amount of time that it would take to edit all the eating noises in between, um, when she speaks would just take an exorbitant amount of time. And I don't have time like that, um, to, to edit like that. Um, that's why I leave it in because uh, they speak in between the eating so it's kind of hard so I, I apologize I completely understand if you can't watch the video um, I completely understand if you get the heebie-jeebies from it I, yeah because I, I mean I don't like it either but that's what she does I mean, at least she chews her food, unlike Chantal, that takes like one so today, chew, um, chews and swallows. I'm just going to be doing a few videos and... But choose her soup. I don't know. Make that make sense. Just calling my husband online, on the phone, video call. Uh, Pardon me. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Um, at least she said it's a bit of house cleaning. It's pretty boring stuff, really. I mean, I mean she is pretty. Is to me, is. <laughs> I think she's pretty. She has a pretty face. Um, yeah. And I'm not saying Chantal is ugly. She has a pretty face. It's just her evilness makes her look ugly. Mm -hmm. Do you like a wing? Breast ear. Dipper dipper. <laughs> dipper dipper. I like that. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> dipper dipper. Mm -hmm. See, that's feeder shit right there. I'm sorry. Come on. I've never, never, never in my fucking life have I <laughs> eaten. Let's see. What would be my favorite thing to eat? Oh, man. I don't know. I love Chinese food. Like a really good egg roll. Let's just say like there's a specific uh, Chinese restaurant where I like their egg rolls because they're like handmade. They're not the frozen crap. I've never in my life <laughs> like eaten an egg roll and been like, oh, like in melting melting into my chair never happened i've never had that experience with food like am i eating the wrong things i don't know <laughs> it's insane i mean maybe if i was like on a 100%. desert island deserted I like I deserted island wait, wait. if i was on a deserted island and like for like months let's just say and the only thing i was eating was bananas and coconuts then I get rescued and then maybe like if somebody brought me a box of Popeye's chicken like, maybe I would have that reaction I don't know like <laughs> that's the only time I probably would better mobility I've already ditched my actual wheelchair oh that's good good for you that's a few awesome. months ago, I had to use it again. That's awesome, I think. Because I had a few broken bones, <clears throat> a few dislocations in my ankle. Oh, I've been there. That were just repeating. Um, That's me. But since I recovered from that mostly, I'm good with the walking frame or just like walking around, shuffling around. Yeah, th mm. that actually happened to me. I've broken my right ankle and i've i've said this before in a video where i've crushed my metatarsal bones like it this happened within a span of maybe two three years both the injuries um i still have plates and pins in my foot and it takes you like you don't realize how much you depend on your foot until you like injure it that severely um how it affects you and then the aftermath of that how it changes how you walk um 
and how you have to do things different. Like if I like, let's just say, um, I go hiking or, uh, we went to Disneyland of like a few months back. Um, I have to like completely wrap my foot because, because, because of the pain now, because I have, and then all as well as, um, the cold weather, when it gets cold, I can literally feel it in my foot. Like th it's, it's, it's a trip how, um, the body changes after a severe injury. So I completely understand what she's saying. So, um, yeah, I hope to be able to lose enough weight that it will affect me enough in a good way that I could do pretty do pretty. That I could do -do -do. walk around either further with a walking frame or just, you know, be able to go out of the house with a walking stick. I think she'll be able to Maybe, do it. Maybe, or like with the walking frame, but a walking stick and like be able to move away from the walking she frame. She can because and walk I'm able to walk without a stick. Do you know what I mean? Like not have to take so much equipment with me. Maybe it's a pipe dream, but... <clears throat> I think that, you know, if I lost a significant amount of weight again, because I've already lost 50 kilos. That's good. Anyone that says I'm lying, well, screw you, because I have lost 50 kilos, okay? Um, whatever, I don't care what you think. Um, I actually have. So um, I used to be 220 kilos, and now I'm 173, or a couple of days ago I weighed myself and I was a couple of kilos less. So she's like 300 and like some odd pounds. 171 kilos? Yeah. So I'm 171 down from 220 and um yeah so 171 kilos and I want to be 100 kilos which sounds massive but you know I'm a pretty tall woman okay yeah. so she, my doctor said 100 kilos is actually like, like a good finishing yeah. point for me yeah I think so because she's six one. that's yeah that's a good size for her like the biggest I've ever been, the biggest I've ever been is when I was pregnant with my first daughter. Well, my daughter. She's my firstborn. And I was literally eating, like, everything. And my normal weight, I'm 5'9", and my normal weight is, like, anywhere between, like, if I'm at my thinnest. My thinnest ever was probably, like, 135, and I was real skinny. But, like, my comfortable weight area is, like, anywhere between... 155 to 170 like in that area is like a comfortable weight for me um I got up to like 230 pounds with my daughter because I was like you know you're pregnant you're eating everything um so yeah I understand like uh right now I'm probably about 165 um which is a comfortable weight for me being at 5'9 I'm not thin but I'm not like obese I'm a little bit on the bigger side, but I'm not like, like big where you would say I'm a fat person. Like, you know what I mean? So it depends on your height. I think, um, that's why I agree. They should change the BMI index because it doesn't apply to everybody, especially I, I think like due to your ethnicity, because there's some people depending on what they are, like how their body is built and things like that. The BMI does not apply to them it's insane to group every type of ethnicity into one box everybody's not the same in that manner so i agree with her you know 200 pounds is a good weight for somebody at her height that's just my opinion lose 71 kilos and be 100 kilos then that's a safe body weight for me yeah i agree mm. uh oh chantal you're gonna are you gonna come for me chantal because i said how much i weigh are you going to come and say that I'm obese and I have chins? I don't have chins, by the way. With my height and my body structure. Um, because some people might be six foot one like I am and weigh less. Yeah. Depends. And some might weigh more and still be healthy. It, it really does depend on your body structure. It does. So that's what my doctor said to me. I need to be 100 kilos. I agree. I completely agree with I mean, that. And, and and if you don't have any underlying in, factors in an ideal world, I'd as like far to as diabetes, but for me, it's it's not really about looking hot. But then again, like healthy. I said, I digress from that. Not even that, because like my husband, he's dropped a lot of weight. He's he's skinny now um, because he's diabetic. So it did. It doesn't even matter what weight he is, whether he's 
300 pounds and my husband's 63 so let him be 300 pounds he would still be diabetic he lost all the weight he's still diabetic because it's genetic with him so yeah it, it's like she said it just depends on your situation getting my health back bit messy <clears throat> um and i'm not gonna starve myself doing it i love doing what brings. um <clears throat> i'll eat this baby wing and then that will probably be enough for me see now foodie beauty would have sat there full. and ate the, that entire uh, container of chicken and the potatoes. She probably would have left the oranges though. Usually I can eat so much more, but. And probably drank the ranch um, dressing. Before doing this, I intentionally had a liter of water, um, a massive cup of tea. That's what I do. I always drink coffee um, first thing. Well, I very drink water. Large coffee. I drink water in the morning, take all to my help vitamins. Fill me up. And then I have my coffee, and then I'm kind of full. I really don't need anything. Crunchy. I might have toast, maybe. Um, sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty full. Mm. Today I had oatmeal, actually, though. Someone in my comments said they were confused. Um, because they heard that I was Jewish. Well, yeah, so? I was, and I converted to Islam, so now I'm Muslim. What is that? Like, who cares if she was Jewish? That's mm. fine. That can happen. Yeah. I'm not the first. A lot of Jewish okay. people convert to uh, Islam. In fact, uh, you can Google it. Islam is the fastest growing religion on earth. So, I mean, it's not shocking. Somebody else said, if your name is actually Candy, which that's my actual name is Candy, then how can my name be Mariam? Um, because when you're a Muslim revert or convert to Islam, you can change your name to a Muslim name if you want to. So right now it's not my legal name. I wanted to make sure that I really like it and I do and that my husband likes it and he does. So if I don't change my mind before I go to Egypt, then that's going to stay as my name. Oh, See now, look at pardon me. The ex so I have already the explanation that she gave right there is believable versus the explanation that Chantal gave. Like, do you see the difference in the personalities and why this woman is a little bit more believable versus Foodie Beauty and f and and the cosplay that's going on over there? But when you go to Egypt to get married in the mosque. There's a big mosque, there's, uh, it's called the Al-Azhar Mosque. And um, <clears throat> if you're a foreigner and you get married in Egypt, I've been told that you have to get married at the Al-Azhar Mosque. Whereas anyone else could just get married at any mosque. And did Chantal get married Yeah, we're already mosque? married no. religiously, but we'll be doing that one for legal purposes because as a foreigner, um, I can do my public conversion to Islam, get a certificate for that. I'm allowed to change my name legally on the spot after conversion at the mosque and i can also get married at the mosque as a foreigner to my egyptian husband so yeah we are already married religiously but for legal purposes to make it valid by the country and state because just my opinion here but i i have to google it and see but i'm ass assuming that the laws in kuwait would be similar to those in egypt as far as like islamic law and marriage and all of that chantal never explained any of that the only thing that chantal did or showed proof of was her conversion to islam um and going to the court but was that even for a marriage i don't think so so I don't know. It makes me believe more that Chantal is not married to glitter tits over there. Each country has different marriage laws. You repeat the marriage. So we've already done the marriage religiously with witnesses and the appropriate process. But to get paperwork for any country, there are other stipulations. So 
it then won't be legal in Australia, even when it's legal in Egypt, until I lodge paperwork with See, Australia. I don't it even think Chantal has so, ever done that. You know, just because it's not recognized. So her marriage wouldn't be recognized. So, yeah, see, more proof. It's here or there yeah. doesn't mean it's not recognized somewhere else. So, in a way, we're actually going to have three weddings. So, we've already had the first. No, that's good. The second at least one you're will be doing at the, it the right way. And then the third one will be at the registry office. My mom got We're married like that. She got married. They they had the Vegas wedding, like a legal wedding. But then when they came back, because um, we well, I was raised Catholic. I'm no longer practicing Catholic, but we're Catholic family. Um, she had like the big Catholic ceremony. So yeah, I mean, people like get married more than once for religious and legal purposes. So the first one has involved a couple of family members who were witnesses. <coughs> um, from Chantal family, didn't have mine. that. Um, and he didn't even and, have that. You know, was, permission was they given. Didn't, I don't even think they had any family members from either side at Chantal's uh, shindig. Didn't, I think, wasn't it, what was the, uh, uh, the friend, Allah? Not Allah, Allah, what I think his name is. And then that other creepy weirdo guy. I can't remember his name. I think that's the only witnesses they had. If, if he and that, I don't even know. Maybe they uh, paid somebody in the Kuwait court to be their witness. Been from my father, for example. To, that's to why she won't show this. Valid, even though I'm older. Um, because that's my family's representative. Um, so yeah, it is a valid marriage, guys. <laughs> the same thing can be done in Orthodox Judaism. Um, it's not very common though, where you don't have to be present. You just, you can give your consent and your person from your family can give their consent. And as long as there's witnesses and you don't have to have a rabbi, for example, just as you don't have to have an imam, for example, the purpose of doing it at the mosque is to register it at the mosque. It's not like when Christians get married and you need a priest or a bishop or a minister Okay, because all you need are the valid witnesses, okay, and to know the people and to make it public and to say the correct wording and for it to be recognized by the families and you're married. See, you know, see, that's what I like about her is she doesn't have the arrogance and ego problem like Foodie Beauty. She explains what she did, how she did it, why she did it the reasons and all that kind of stuff like that has foodie beauty done any of this no she just says it's none of our business but yet she posts it on there and then gets pissed off if people question her do you see Chantal do you see the difference in how someone is treating people that are the viewers versus how you treat your viewers unbelievable I mean obviously completely it can be risky, different but with both families involved um yeah, I don't feel like it's risky. Yeah, it's um, not. And no, it wasn't an arranged marriage. Um, we, you know, got to know each other in a generally appropriate way. Um, I mean, I won't go into it. You're not supposed to really free mix with men. But because I've converted over, I guess it's semi-acceptable to have been talking to him online. So, yeah, but we're married, guys. And I am going to Egypt. And that will happen pretty soon because oh, we've been married for, for over a year now. And, um, you know, I'm, not I'm actually excited if she vlogs the trip to Egypt, then we get to see like the actual, um, Egyptian culture and you know how it is like that over there versus a uh, Skeletor, Skeletor El Scammy over there with Maytag and his bullshit. We get to see the real deal. Not that bullshit. Getting I'm down. Younger, I'm know, excited for that. Might be able to have a family versus and, and as well as versus and, um, Sean Paul not, and that crap have, going on you know children already so um oh she has kids yeah I I, I miss him and I'm gonna go over there so um I don't really care what people and say I think, if they say it's not because I, I was like watching FFGs uh yesterday and I think she said uh she has a daughter that's 21 I'm guess I, I remember so they both have like older kids so that's good they're both older kids. Real? I don't care. I know it's real, so. And no, it's not a scam. And no, he's not older than me, like some people are saying. We're actually quite close in age. So, um. He looks. Definitely not I've younger than me. seen the. Like, on her. Uh, uh, 
the little short videos on YouTube, I've seen him. He doesn't look that much. He looks older than her. I think he's maybe like in his 40s. He doesn't look that much older. I'm not sending him money. Like, it's not like that. This is like genuine. So, guys, um, of course, if you're looking for love online, be careful not to get scammed. There's a few scammers out there. But, Ooh, um, yeah, no, I found ding, a good ding, one. Ding, and Salah. I'm really excited to go over there. Litter tech it's going to be so great. I mean, it's going to be a culture shock, you know? Um, because I'm Australian, but <laughs> there's some rules to follow. There's some rules to follow. I've been made aware, and all. I love Australian people. Not only are they funny and the dry sense of humor, which I love, but they are adventurous and like to have fun. Fabulous country, fabulous people. Oh my God. Well, yes, I chose this life. It's going to be different. Um. Yeah, I kind of feel like there's the expectation that I'm going to transition to become, like, traditional Egyptian. <laughs> like, whoa. There's some rules there for the ladies. Yeah, um, a lot of rules in Egypt. Not for everyone, but definitely if you marry somebody who's a bit traditional or somebody who's a bit more strict in the religion, then, um, yeah, there's some rules, ladies. Hopefully. Um, if you're seeing any... <laughs> I don't know why this flashed in my head. Hopefully, there's not another... Um islamic brotherhood uprising while you're there and that whole thing like pops off again because that was horrible um and you think the culture isn't that different or they say oh it's you know i'm very modern i'm very progressive yeah my guy said that too but i found out he's not that modern <laughs> not by australian standards he's not that progressive oh wow this there's, gonna, gonna there's be some weird. rules there's some rules even while i'm in australia without him so when i go there oh. the rules are like I wonder what the rules are. Like, they don't view these rules as being, like, intense. But as an Australian woman, these rules are intense. Like, and it's, like I said, it's not every family over there or every, you know, match with husband and wife. You know, there's a lot of women get, like, 100% freedom as if they're still living in a Western country. But other women, well, there's rules. And I think that's where I fall in this, is that I've got to adjust to um, that level of culture some of it's really i mean at least see at least she's admitting to this where she has to adjust and she knows like there's a set of you know standards and rules especially um for women in egypt now when foodie beauty did this she went like full balls in fupa balls in um not even researching kuwait the culture the people researching if he's syrian i don't know if he's syrian or not whatever researching you know that culture the rules for women she did none of this so it's actually refreshing to see this miriam um explain that she understands what she's getting herself into versus foodie beauty who is an idiot just in some of it's cultural, probably like 80% of it is cultural from an Australian perspective, definitely. Um, but hey, I, I'm i cool with it. This is the life I chose. And, you know, I am a Muslim. So, you know, when in Rome, people when in Rome. Um, That's right, when in Rome. Yeah, so I won't be roaming around alone. Um, if I leave the house, I'll leave the house with my husband, for example. Like, silly little things like that. Um, a lot of women would be like, well, you can't leave the house alone. Oh my God, are you a prisoner? But no, you know, yeah, I think I it's kind of nice. I, I <laughs> actually have a friend that's um, gone to Egypt a few times, uh, you know, for business. And she even said it's not safe um, for, especially uh, from the Western world, you know, to a woman to be walking around by themselves in Egypt. Not a good idea. Is, you know, I mean, it's safe going around with your husband like he's there to protect you so i mean i could probably protect myself because i'm a giant but that's not the point it's nice yeah i wonder how that's gonna be he's gonna protect actually because she is six foot one i'm sure that she not even because she's a larger woman just her height that a lot of people are going to give her some stares and looks because of um how tall she is that's going to be uh curious i mean that's going to be interesting to watch how the people react to her. I hope she films it. Um, so, yeah, um, maybe you'll see on camera when I go there that, you know, there's, there's different things that I might have to do differently. Um, Australians would be like, oh, gosh, why do you have to do that? But I, I'm kind of, like, adjusting to the idea of it. And um, mm, Good for you if that's what you want. Man, it's going to be.
be an adventure. So I hope you guys come along with me and um, experience the awesome cultural changes. Um, I'm I'm down for this ride. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. Yeah. Tuck my chin in. Oh my gosh. Actually, I like these jumps. Some women wear it like this. Oh no, that's horrible. But Don't I think do my that. chin has gone. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but then it kind of reminds me of that mukbang. What's that mukbang with the with the guy with the thing on his? It's like um, real mouth ASMR or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. I did. I posted it's it. It's so cool with the little hands. I posted. I, I did. It. I posted that channel on uh, my community page. It's actually. I've seen that channel here and there. It's actually funny because sometimes the they he, they have a dog, and the dog will be in the mukbangs with these little hands. It's it's hilarious. Um. But yeah, it's it's gonna be a huge adventure for me. And um, Lola wants to say bye. Bye, Lola. You cute dog. Oh. Oh. What a dog. Do you want like a one chip with ranch? So you can tell she's loved. Oh, oh. oh, she's so precious. I love you, baby. Oh, I'm going to miss her so much when I go. But my daughter has taken ownership of her, so oh, that's good. she'll just continue to be spoiled, but probably with less treats. She'll be put on a diet. I'm sorry, oh, baby. She doesn't look obese. Sorry, and we'll have to Skype Lola when I go over there. She's a nice looking dog. So, anyway, um, besties, I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, so that's it. I actually like her. I like her personality. Um, she explains what she's doing, you know, really well. Um, she doesn't have an ego problem. She's not a narcissist from what I can tell. Um, I don't think she's trolling. Um, I don't know. She Like, maybe a little bit, but not like... I don't think all of her content... Um, and actually, I believe her journey a little bit more because she's actually been married um, for over a year and, and hasn't even gone to Egypt to live with her husband. So we're on the cusp of that journey, which will be interesting to watch. Far more interesting than um, Chantal eating herself to death over there in Kuwait, being a B-I-T-C-H um, and raging constantly um, because she's angry at the world uh, for no reason. So anyways, that's it for me guys. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye.